What's up guys? In this tutorial, I'll show you the best settings to apply and configure in your NVIDIA control panel to get the most out of your graphics card. With these settings, your computer will perform faster, your GPU will be more optimized, and you will see a noticeable boost in your FPS while gaming. The first and most important step is to make sure your NVIDIA graphics card drivers are up to date. If you haven't updated recently, or you've been experiencing issues, it's important to check for the latest updates. To do this, open the NVIDIA GeForce Experience application. If you don't already have it, I will leave a download link in the description below so you can download it. Once it's installed and opened, head over to the Drivers section of the app. If there's a driver update available, it will show up here. Click Download to get the latest version. Keeping your drivers up to date ensures that your GPU can take advantage of the latest optimizations and bug fixes from NVIDIA. Once your drivers are updated, the next step is to open the NVIDIA control panel. Now that we are in the control panel, let's dive into the settings to maximize performance. The first thing you'll want to do is to adjust the image settings for performance. In the control panel, go to the Adjust Image Settings with Preview tab. Here, make sure to choose Use the Advanced 3D Image Settings, and then click Take Me There, which will bring you to the next important section, Manage 3D Settings. This section allows you to tweak specific performance-related options. Let's go over the best settings for each of these. Image Scaling. Turn this on and set it between 50 and 60%. This option is useful if you're playing games at a lower resolution and want to upscale the visuals while maintaining a good frame rate. Ambient Occlusion and Anisotropic Filtering. Turn these off. They enhance lighting and texture quality, but at the cost of performance. Disabling them will help your frame rate especially in fast-paced games. Gamma Correction – keep this on. It adjusts the colors and improves image quality without affecting performance, so there's no downside here. Background Application – Max Frame Rate – set this to 20 or 30 FPS. This limits how much power background apps consume, freeing up resources for your games and boosting FPS. CUDA – GPUs – make sure this is set to your primary GPU. This ensures your most powerful hardware is being used for rendering. DSR Factors – Disable this. It allows for higher resolution rendering than your display supports, but puts a heavy load on your GPU, reducing performance. Low Latency Mode – Set this to Ultra. This reduces input lag, which is especially helpful in competitive gaming. Max Frame Rate – Turn this off. You don't want your frame rate artificially limited if your GPU can handle more. FMAA or Multi-Frame Sampled AA. Disable this option. While it can smooth out edges, it requires more GPU power, which isn't ideal for performance. OpenGL CDI Compatibility. Set this to Automatic. OpenGL Rendering GPU. Make sure to set this to your primary GPU to ensure the best performance in OpenGL-based applications. Power Management Mode. Set this to Prefer Maximum Performance. This ensures your GPU operates at full power rather than saving energy. Shader Cache – keep this on driver default. This setting allows your GPU to store shaders, which can improve load times in games. But setting a specific limit is unnecessary unless you know you're running low on storage. Texture Filtering – anisotropic sample optimization – turn this off. Texture Filtering negative LOD bias – set this to allow. Texture Filtering Quality – set this to High Performance. This reduces visual quality slightly, but offers significant performance gains. Texture Filtering Trilinear Optimization – turn this on. It helps with texture smoothing and boosts performance. Threaded Optimization – set this to on. This setting allows games to take advantage of multiple CPU cores, which can significantly improve performance in modern games. Triple Buffering – turn this off. This setting increases latency, which can hurt performance in real-time games. Vertical Sync or V-Sync – turn this off for the best FPS. V-Sync prevents screen tearing, but at the cost of performance. Most gamers prefer to leave it off, especially if they have a high refresh rate monitor. Under the PhysX settings, make sure the processor is set to your GPU and not your CPU. This will ensure the GPU is handling all the graphics processing giving you better gaming performance. In the display section of the control panel, there are a few key settings to improve your visual Im 
In the display section of the control panel, there are a few key settings to improve the visual experience. In the Adjust Desktop Color Settings tab, increase digital vibrance to around 70%. This will make the colors pop more, giving your games a more vibrant appearance. Under the Video section, go to the Adjust Video Color Settings tab. Under the Video section, go to the Adjust Video Color Settings tab. Here, increase saturation to around 60%. This adds a bit more depth to the colors, making your games look sharper and more defined. In your Advanced Settings, make sure your display is set to Full rather than Limited. Full Dynamic Range allows your monitor to use the full range of colors and contrast, making the visuals look much more detailed, especially in darker scenes. By configuring these settings, you'll be squeezing out the best possible performance from your NVIDIA GPU, giving you higher FPS and smoother gameplay. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions, and see you in the next one.